Luigi, also known as the spirit board or talking board, is a flat board marked with the letters of the alphabet, the numbers 0 through 9, the words yes, no, hello, occasionally, and goodbye, along with various symbols and graphics. It uses a small heart-shaped piece of wood or plastic called a planchette. Participants place their fingers on the planchette and it is moved about the board to spell out words. Luigi was formerly a trademark belonging to Parker Brothers, and has subsequently become a trademark of Hasbro in the United States, but is often used generically to refer to any talking board. According to Hasbro, players take turns asking questions and then wait to see what the planchette spells out for them. It is recommended for players over the age of eight. Following its commercial introduction by businessman Elijah Bond on July 1st, 1890, the Ouija board was, was regarded as a parlor game unrelated to the occult until American spiritualist Pearl Koran popularized its use as a divining tool during World War I. Spiritualists claimed that the dead were able to contact the living and reportedly used a talking board very similar to a modern Ouija board at their camps in Ohio in 1886 to ostensibly enable faster communication with spirits. The Catholic Church and other Christian denominations have warned against using Ouija boards, holding that they can lead to demonic possession. Occultists, on the other hand, are divided on the issue, with some saying that it can be a positive transformation. Others reiterate the warnings of many Christians and caution inexperienced users against it. Paranormal and supernatural beliefs associated with Ouija have been harshly criticized by the scientific community since they are characterized as pseudoscience. The action of the board can be parsimono parsimoniously explained by unconscious movements of those controlling the pointer, a psychophysiological phenomenon known as the ideomotor effect. One of the first mentions of the automatic writing method used in the Ouija board is found in China around 1100 AD in historical documents of the Song Dynasty. The method was known as Fuji, planchette writing. The use of planchette writing as an ostensible means of necromancy and communion with the spirit world continued and albeit under special rituals and supervisions was a central practice of the Quan in school until it was forbidden by the Qing dynasty. Several entire scriptures of the Dao Zhang 
are supposedly works of automatic planchette writing. According to the author, similar methods of medium mystic spirit writing have been practiced in ancient India, Greece, Rome, and medieval Europe. The Ouija phenomenon is considered by the scientific community to be the result of the ideal motor, res motor response. Michael Faraday first described this effect in 1853 while investigating table turning. Fer table turning. Is a type of seance in which participants sit around a table, place their hands on it, and wait for rotations. The table was purportedly made to serve as a means of communicating with the spirits. The alphabet would be slowly called over and the table would tilt at the appropriate letter, thus spelling out words and sentences. Various studies have been produced recreating the effects of the Ouija board in the lab and showing that under laboratory conditions, the subjects were moving the, moving the planchette involuntarily. A 2012 study found that when answering yes or no questions, Ouija use was significantly more accurate than guesswork, suggesting that it might draw on the unconscious mind. Skeptics have described Ouija board users as operators. Some critics noted that the messages ostensibly spelled out by spirits were similar to whatever was going through the minds of the subjects, according to Professor of Neurology Terence Hines in his book Pseudoscience and the Paranormal, 2003.